Welcome back. It's Martin Mesa, Rate One Financial, with your mortgage industry update for today. Hope all is well. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about some recent changes to the guidelines, uh, the mortgage industry guidelines for the mortgage qualifying that I think are going to be relevant to a lot of people. And the first one I want to talk about is uh, recently Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac has said that from now on, if you are a borrower applying for a loan and you have retirement account funds, whether it's an IRA, 401k, or some other type of retirement account, it used to be that they'd only give you 60% of your vested balance to be allowed to be used as reserves for the loan you're trying to get approved for. Because every loan you have to usually have to have a certain amount of reserves in the bank, kind of as a buffer. And now they've said, no, we're not going to only give you credit for 60%. We're actually going to give you 100% of the full vested balance of all your retirement accounts that can be used for reserves. So that's an important update that I think will help people. Um, the second update is that 2106 expenses, which most people don't know what that means, but they're unreimbursed employee expenses that sometimes people write off on their tax return. That's if for example, you spend money related to your job that your employer will not reimburse you for. You can actually write that off as an expense on your taxes to lower your taxes. That's called a 2106 expense. And what they used to do is any 2106 expenses reported would automatically get deducted from your qualifying income, which means you qualify for a smaller loan. So it hurt, counts against you, even though it helps you on taxes. What they've done is they've said, we're not going to do that anymore. We're only going to deduct it from your qualifying income if in the position you're in, more than 25% of your income is from commissions. So if, for example, if you work for, a, for Verizon, for example, and you're a W-2 employee and a lot of your commission is, or a lot of your income is from commissions because you're selling cell phone plans, if more than 25% of that income for the year is from commission, then they will count the 2106 expenses against you like they always have. But unless you are in that bracket, they're no longer going to count it against you. So most W-2 employees won't fall in that. So those two things are really going to help because you're going to be able to have more reserves and your debt to income ratio is going to be higher because you're not going to get hit with those 2106 expenses like you were before. So what does that mean for you? If you're in that boat, come talk to us, come talk to a mortgage professional and revisit maybe your last pre-approval. Maybe you got denied because you were low on reserves or your debt to income was too low because of the 2106 expenses they were counting against you. Revisit all that with your lender. I'd be happy to talk to you about it. Um, that's the mortgage I think, the mortgage update that I think will help people.